morning. Well, good morning for me. I'm filming this on a Sunday morning. And today I am going to do a video where I get my life together and I clean my beauty room. This has been a long time coming, y'all. I've done little parts. Like I have a closet next to me, which has been a hot mess express for months. And I finally got that all cleaned out. So I've done little parts, but the face of it is bad. I have boxes and more product than I know what to do with. I'm not necessarily an organized person. Like, I'm not at all an organized person. But I think as I've gotten older, I've learned to appreciate what an organized space does for your mindset. And I've always been a little bit messy. Not dirty, but messy. So my room is really messy. I think just over the last few months since I've had my beauty room, I've been very blessed for my channel to have grown to get a lot more brand recognition and to have the means to provide products for my channel so i've had an explosion in products that i quite frankly don't know what to do with in all reality i probably could use more storage space like more drawers all of that but with Jose and I moving probably early next year, just in a few months. I don't want to buy anything more unless I know what space I'm working with. I'm going to do my best to find homes for these products. I, the problem is my main drawer system that you guys see in my videos, they're full. I just did actually declutter a couple months ago and I got rid of a lot of stuff, all of the old stuff. So I'm not ready to declutter again, uh, especially with the holiday season coming up and vlogmas and all of that. I want lots of products for that and lots of options. I don't want to regret decluttering anything. Like, I don't know. I probably won't declutter until I move and I pack for moving. So I just need to figure out what to do with all my stuff. So let me show you the room. I mean, you can even see behind me like I'm a mess. But let me show you. So, I mean, my desk is going to be the first plan of attack. This, I need to clean up. This just has a bunch of crap that I need to reorganize. And this has been good to me. I've been keeping my jewelry on here, but I let it get out of hand. And I actually think I want to place this with eyeshadow palettes. So I just have some, like, random stuff. Candles, books. I want to put palettes on here. I used to keep my palettes on here, and then I redid it for when I moved in here, but we're going back to that. I have an awesome mirror, but I don't know what to do with it because it takes up too much space on my desk. We got boxes I need to break down, more boxes, and I have my makeup kit. I'm going to put that in my closet, and that will make it feel better right away. I'm telling you guys, boxes and products that I don't know what to do with that I need to find a home for, so my biggest issue for today that I think is going to stress me out is essentially almost all of these products I need to find a home for. Like I said, I love my drawer system, but I've run out of space, which is not a problem I'm complaining about. That's amazing. But like I said, I don't want to buy more storage right now because I don't know where I'm going to be living in the next few months and what space I'm working with. And I also am not ready to declutter yet. I want to wait a little bit more time before I declutter. This should be interesting. Let's, um, Let's attack this desk first. We're, we're going to clean this desk first. I did do something good yesterday. I washed my makeup brushes. So that's good because I haven't done that in a long time. I'm going to bring these into my room. Okay, I don't know why it's so blue, but anyways. You guys see I have a bunch of random cups of brushes. So I use this storage thing. This is from TJ Maxx as my main brush holder, but I mean, it's too cramped. So I'm going to kind of separate and organize my brushes and give a little bit more meanings to the actual cups and their purpose. So let's do that first. I also want to use this so that I can rotate the brushes that I'm using so I can clean all of the dirty ones, which will be in here, and then grab from my other cups to refresh it for clean brushes. Even though some of these are probably dirty. But look at all of this. You guys see these brushes? I mean, brushes really are something that you collect over a long period of time because they don't get old, you know? I have some brushes from when my mom was young. So they're like older than me. I don't know, maybe I'll declutter some as I'm cleaning. You'll find out. Here we go. Okay, 
Okay, brushes are organized. They look disorganized, but they're organized. So this is going to be on my desk. This is the brushes that I'm going to be using. In this little cup, I have all of my refer brushes. In this cup, I have all of my Esum brushes. I like to do by brand a lot. In this cup, I have my BK Beauty brushes. And then this cup, I have my Sonia G and Wayne Goss brushes. This cup, I have all of my blinged brushes. Pretty. I have my other blinged brush brushes up there, if you can see. But those are part of my background display. And then this one, I need to get a cup. So I'm gonna get a cup eventually, but these are just random brand eye brushes and these are my random brand face brushes. Here are brushes that I am throwing away. And then these are brushes that were disgusting and I want to clean. It's a lot of brushes, but it's organized in a way that I think is going to be a lot easier for me to grab for. I piled junk up here, so let's um let's put them in their place. I have a few boxes that I need to break down. I actually did this just move down? I actually was really good and I broke down a lot of boxes last week, but I have a few more since more packages came. So let's break these down and recycle them. Okay, so I know I still have these boxes. These are actually full of makeup. There are bins of makeup that I've used that's still like not expired. So I let my friends dig through these when they come over or family. So these, I need to find a new place for them. I'm just gonna leave them here for now. So I'm gonna take this stuff down, I'll be right back. We are cleaning this next. So mostly this stuff is my jewelry. I need to put it with my jewelry collection for the most part. Like I'll leave this out, but I wanna make it look better. Let me show you where I actually keep my jewelry. So I keep my jewelry in here. They sell these on QVC. I'll link something similar. So I'm gonna put the stuff that I'm not immediately using in here. Let's get to it. Okay, I'm just going to carry this stuff over and I'm gonna put it with my jewelry. beginning of the video and I know it's super crooked I'm not gonna fix it sorry but I actually want to use this shelf to hold more makeup so I'm going to clean all of these containers out and we're gonna put makeup in here so like, give me a second and let's do that like I literally have sunglasses in one of these I have body lotions in that another I have books from when I was a teenager let's get rid of this stuff or at least find new homes like what's this hiding back here my goodness look what i just found does anybody remember these you used to like you have a clip on the back and then you would it's an ipod <laughs> What? Why do I have this? I have a lot of random... I have like three pairs of scissors in here. Don't even know what these random cords are, but... Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna bring this stuff in my bedroom because I feel like this stuff should go in my bedroom. So recently, I uploaded a luxury eyeshadow palette drawer video. And I said I was thinking about changing things around. Well, here we are changing things around. So the luxury eyeshadow palette drawer is no longer. It's going to be a shelf 
a luxury eyeshadow palette shelf so that way I can really look at the palettes they're in plain vision not just hiding in a drawer and I also want to put my lip products in the drawer that they were just in and I feel like that's going to free up more space in my makeup drawers so yeah that's what we're going to do my Dior shadows because I had more room on the shelf. So I'm going to put my Dior quince up here. My Tom Ford already have a separate drawer somewhere that they fit well, so I didn't have a need for that. This is not an eyeshadow palette. Why was this in my drawer? Okay, let me put these up. I have the littlest bit of Space right here for another brand so I'm gonna grab a random brand just to free up some space in my eyeshadow palette collection so give me one second okay so I picked out some random brands just why not so like Laura Mercier I picked up some NARS palettes Wayne Goss Marc Jacobs and Scott Barnes all a little bit more on the pricey side just so that I know really pricey stuff goes over here Let's squeeze them in Wow, they all fit perfectly. So we are no longer a luxury eyeshadow palette drawer. We have upgraded to a luxury eyeshadow palette shelf. And I'm mostly excited just because I have my Pat McGrath boxes on display and that makes me happy. Okay, on to so the So I had a thought with this. This is my impressions vanity. It's like a portable vanity, but I just leave it here obviously. And I just have had it like this for forever. And I figured I wanted to actually utilize the vanity portion so i need to find somewhere to put this kaleidos drawer i also had my giant colored rain palette which has some indie singles in here that i'll need to find a home for and my kevin aquan book but i'm gonna move those somewhere else and i want to utilize the actual kind of vanity space here where there's actually space for me to display some makeup. So I thought it'd be cool if I could display some pretty makeup as well as it allowing some drawer space to be freed up from my main collection. I mean, this is really good because this right here holds 40 lipsticks. And yeah, so I think I'm gonna fill this up with pretty makeup like Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks and anything else that I can get my hands on that just looks really pretty. Because this is all gold, I thought I wanted to do Charlotte Tilbury stuff because her products would really look good on here. And I ultimately decided instead of just putting any pretty makeup I could see to just do a specific brand. So at the very least, like my channel is so based on brands that it would be easy for me to just organize a whole brand. So I grabbed everything that I have from Charlotte Tilbury and I'm gonna put it in here. And if I have room, I'll probably search through my collection for Tom Ford. So let's see. So this is so cool. I'm so happy that I did this. I decided not to put Tom Ford. We're just going to make this my Charlotte Tilbury shrine. So I ended up putting all of my quads back here. It's kind of hard to see because there's not the most light. I have some lipsticks over here. I definitely don't have everything here. I have still have to dig through my drawers, but I just kind of wanted to put a general layout down. So this is what I have so far. Um, I have some pretty palettes that I wanted up top. And then this next layer, this is the not so pretty stuff, but I have like eyeliners, eyebrows, mascara, lip liners, things of that nature. Then over this next one, I have my big eyeshadow palettes because they look pretty there. And then it's gonna look the prettiest once I'm all done and have all my products over here. Look at all this. This is my mostly complexion products. So overall, I mean, I think it's going to look really good once I finalize everything, but I'm really happy with that decision and it also freed up some space in my drawers. So look at that, I utilized what I had. Okay, so this once was the luxury eyeshadow palette drawer. I want to make this an all lip 
drawer. So you'll see I have some lipstick drawers. I even have more, I hate to admit. And I'm looking, I don't think it's going to be possible to put all of my lip stuff in this drawer, but it'll at least clear out some drawers so that I can make a little bit more space. So I'm going to see what the best way to do this is. I think I'm going to need to eventually get more dividers or some type of organizational system in here. I don't know how I want to do this. I think I'm going to put legitimate bullet lipsticks in here and then see how much space I have left. So let's do it that way. So like some of these drawers are liquid lipsticks. I'm gonna put them over to the side because we wanna do the bullets first. So this is like the important drawer of lipsticks. These are all of my high-end lipsticks. And I would like to fill this drawer with lipstick holders, but again, I don't want to commit until I'm settled in my new place. So let's just see how this does. I'm gonna put Natasha Denona in this corner first. The problem with these Natasha Denonas is they're magnetic, so they actually don't want to like stay next to each other. You kind of have to like physically push them together to get them to stay. By the way, I am fully aware that these are going to fall. I'm just trying to, I don't know what I'm trying to do, but I know these are gonna fall. Huh, that took up a lot less space than I thought it would. With actual lipstick organizers though, of course, like it's gonna be more spread out, but this is good. <laughs> Let's do some color pop now. I realized I was just thinking way too hard about how to do this because I said I didn't want to buy anything, but I'm actually going to run over to the Dollar Tree and I'm going to buy a bunch of these for a dollar. You see right here. And I'm going to use that to store my lipsticks in here. These are the perfect size and they're only... I'm only going to spend a few bucks. So I... I'm just gonna go now and I will meet you back and I will have the organization stuff for this drawer. Wow, this turned out to be a lot more energy than I thought it was gonna be, but I'll be back. Oh, it's been a few hours. I am back from the Dollar Tree. So they didn't have the ones that I wanted. Like they had the long ones. It's a three pack for a dollar. You can't beat that. But I went to two different Dollar Trees and they didn't have the ones that were squares. But they did have like these, which are fine. They're a little bit sturdier, but I do like how these are a little bit more flimsy because I feel like they're easier to push in. But these will do. These aren't as good because it's one for a dollar as opposed to the square ones, which were two for a dollar. And you just can't beat that. But I got a few of these. So I'm just going to line my drawers with them and we're just gonna throw these in as I go along. Okay, obviously these aren't gonna be organized like this, but I'm really happy because I bought six not knowing how much I would need and literally it couldn't be any perfect. Oh my gosh, wow, that worked out good. I guess it was meant to be. And then I got some of these longer ones and that three for a dollar price. Seriously, you can't beat it. Uh, and I'm gonna be able to squeeze these in the back. I wonder, could you fit two back here? Uh, you couldn't do it like, well, you kind of could. Honestly, if I wanted to get another six, I'd be able to make them go like that, but it's not a perfect fit. And since it's hard to reach back here anyways, I'm just going to layer these little white guys kind of back here. I could do two, right? Yeah, like two would fit, but you can't reach anything back here, so there's really no point to that. I might not even end up using these, but just see how I end up organizing these. Ooh, I'm so happy. These actually fit perfect, so I'm not as upset anymore. It's not, it wasn't as good of a price, but they're still only a dollar. <laughs> I'm being cheap here. Okay, so four of these fit across great. Put these here. And now I can get to organizing. So cue the music.
So I didn't fit all of my lip products. I have a few liquid lipsticks that didn't fit and then my lip glosses didn't fit. But I cleared up a lot of drawers, so I'm very happy. But let's take a closer look at how everything's looking. It's not super categorized, but I, it's organized enough for me. You know, my higher-end lipsticks are here down to drugstore, and then I have a crap ton of liquid lipsticks. I don't know how I have so many, and they're all down here. I'll do more of an in-depth tour with my makeup collection video but I decided to put these guys up towards the front because when these guys were up to the front I couldn't grab anything that would have been in here so I figured it was better to have these up here and then have a little bit of the lipsticks be underneath the desk because it's easier to pull this out and pull this forward as opposed to pull this out and grabbing this guy because it's such a long basket does that make sense anyways this is the best way that made sense for me to do it so now I have a new lippy drawer. The next plan of action, I think it's starting to get dark. I'm going to put the drawers back, see how I can get it organized. And then I want to kind of disperse my makeup so that the drawers aren't so jam-packed. So that way I actually have room to put all of this stuff on the bottom. We are losing daylight as I speak, but we are gonna work on the part that I have been absolutely dreading. This is an absolute mess. It's just products that started off as being new, um, but they've sat here. So this is supposed to help me organize my PR and what products I tried for the month. And I mean, this stuff has been sitting here for months. So I'm going to actually get this in my makeup collection. And a lot of what stopped me before was I didn't have enough space in my drawers, but thanks to today, now I do. So I'm gonna get the old stuff out and then we're gonna organize it for the new stuff. So let's do it. By the way, these are from the container store. They're shoe boxes. And eventually I would like to get more to fill up under this whole desk. But again, I'm just waiting to see. So it's time to work through these drawers I think I'm gonna start kind of whatever needs to be put in the drawers I'm gonna put them on my desk and clean out like all of these I are boxes so I can get rid of these Okay, so I've got all the stuff that I want to put in my makeup collection in these three drawers. So it's time to go through them. I have so much space now to put that stuff in here. Let's do it. I know it's starting to get dark, but I wanted to do this really quickly. So in this bag, I have all of these products that I've never used before that I didn't have enough space in here for. So I'm finally going to distribute this through the drawers. So let's get into it. Oh my God. Here we go. So the sun is going down, I need to eat dinner, I'm also getting tired, and my battery is about to die, so I think I'm going to end this today, and in a few seconds it will be the next day and we'll finish things off. My room looks a mess, but we are almost there, seriously. We are getting there. It's going to be all new and freshly organized. So I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning. It is like 8 a.m. Monday morning. I woke up not earlier, but normally I'm like working out or doing emails at this time. But I'm going to try and finish this room this morning so that I can actually 
I don't know, do my work. So <laughs> here's what we have left. I need to go through what has become my junk thing <laughs> and then just kind of put everything back where it belongs. I need to straighten out this rug, but I'm gonna need Jose to help me with that. Also at the Dollar Tree, let me show you. But you see some fall decor, not too much. It's just from the Dollar Tree, like pumpkins and stuff. I'm going to put that out. But yeah, just a little bit of organization, getting things back in their place. And we should be good to go. So let's get going. I'm done. Uh, this was the biggest clean I've done since probably since I've gotten this room. I don't know, it got really out of hand. But um, anyways, obviously it's not perfectly clean with me constantly getting products and having to work in here. But I feel refreshed. I have some growing room again in my drawers and crap isn't everywhere. So let me show you. Look, there's nothing there anymore, which is awesome. Of course, we will always have the eyesores of all the technology, but that's why it's my office. <laughs> this is all nice and cleaned up. We have my new luxury palette shelving. Uh, this, I mean, it's always going to look a little junky, but I, I need that light. But it's better now. We have more drawer space. It's not super jam-packed. I even have this drawer's empty. I just put it in the front. These products in the front to make it look full, but I have some growing room here. I was able to make some room. Got my fall decorations out from the Dollar Tree because I'm cheap like that. No products anymore that aren't in any drawers. This desk will be messed up by this afternoon, guarantee it. This had been piling up some stuff. My favorite part is my Charlotte Tilbury vanity, which I'm still going to be working on. Super pretty. Remember, you lift it and there's more complexion products. And the only thing that's really bothering me here is going to be this. But I just need to get rid of this makeup eventually. But yeah, thank you guys for watching my cleaning. Thank you guys for hanging out with me and cleaning with me. Um, I think, you know what? I'm finally going to do a video that I've been putting off. Keep an eye out. I should have my makeup collection tour where we go through these drawers coming very soon. So that is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one.